Hey everybody, welcome to Boots and Jeans Riders. Happy to be here in the parking lot. Today what I'm gonna cover is what we done last week in our street knowledge video. And you all know what it was. If you haven't seen it, go back and watch that video because it can save your life. And here we're gonna show you how you can practice those turns without overthrowing the turn and going into that danger zone, the yellow line with oncoming traffic after you make a right turn. So we decided to come in the parking lot because I want to show you that you can actually practice this and you should practice this, but you don't need any cones whatsoever. Of course, I have cones today just to show you the measurements up here, how we do this. When we're in our course, we always go six feet into six feet. And we all know the average road here in the United States, the average lane is 12 feet from the white line to the center line is 12 feet or lane to lane to lane, 12 feet. So if you can turn six into six, and in this case, the parking lot is nine feet, you should never, and I mean ever, have a problem going close to the 12 foot line if you could do nine into nine. This is nine. If you cannot make nine, it's not a big deal as long as you don't make the 12. So what I'm gonna do is do ride just like I've done it in the street. You know where I told you look when you're in the street. Same thing applies here. Always remain in a friction zone, steady throttle, depending on your speed, where you turn the handlebars or lean the bike to get where you're going. Then you always throttle through. If you have a big parking lot like this, then when I make the right turn, I'm normally throttled through as if I was making a right turn on the street. And you gotta remember, on the streets, there aren't any 90 degree angles that you're turning on. This is why we put the cones all the way out, three feet from this line, three feet going that direction from this line. So I'm gonna hop on the bike and demonstrate how you can do this with no cones. Remember the cones today are just for reference so they can be picked up on a camera. But just pick a lot, go down a lot, get to a line, make that turn. Don't worry about if you're crossing that 90 degree angle because it's not gonna be that close in real everyday riding. And if you don't get this, all you need is one mistake going over that line and you can put yourself up in some serious, serious trouble. So I'm gonna get my gear up. I'm gonna put a camera on this side. Actually, I already have them there. So as I turn, you can see my position in the street. I'll put it a little further out so you can see my position within this nine feet. Okay, I'm all geared up. Make a U-turn here and uh, do two from a rolling position, two from a stop. And I always talk about roll position. I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about when I'm speaking of roll, roll position. I would not come down directly on this white line. And I would do two from a rolling position and maybe one from a stop. But remember, I don't wanna go past into that lane, past nine feet. So, but if I do go past nine feet, at least I have another three feet before I hit that 12 feet. So here we go. And remember, nothing's changed. You're always riding in a friction zone. And everything you do is relevant out here if you're in a parking lot. Okay, the first thing I'm gonna do from road, a rolling position, and I always talk about road position. What I mean about road position, because I'm gonna be making a right turn. I obviously do these maneuvers with left turns also, but I'm gonna be making a right turn, and instead of being center or over to the right, I wanna be as much as I can over here. It doesn't mean I wanna be 12 feet on the double yellow line. That gives you a lot of room to make this turn without getting close to the curve, and sometimes without leaning. So let me go and do this right quick for you guys. The and the more you practice, the more it becomes second nature, muscle memory, confidence level up. Remember, command, confidence, and always in control. So the first is gonna be a rolling position. I'm gonna go pretty quick on this one, all the way over here. I'm gonna lean the bike, look where I wanna go and come out here. 
Now the second one I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go a little slower, slow down. I ride it on the street, go a little slower to where I could turn the handlebar a little bit more instead of being worried about leaning. Look where I want to go. Turn the handlebar in the inside of six to nine feet. And of course, you always want to throttle through. You want to practice how you want to ride in the street. The third one, I'm going to go a little quicker and throttle through. I said I was going to do two, two, but I think I owe you guys another one. Roll position. I'm over to the left because I want to make that right turn. Look where I want to go. Well, direction of travel, throttle through. The minute you make the direction of travel, throttle through. Okay, these next two I'm gonna do from a stopped position, but I'm gonna use a roll position. The first one, I am facing forward. And this roll position is good, but this is not the easiest way to do it. This roll position is good. Let me get a little closer right here. I'm facing forward. Remember, I do not wanna go over nine feet. Six feet, if you can do six feet, do six feet or seven feet as long as you don't go to 12 feet. So from here, I still look where I want to go. Not to change. I make sure I go in the friction zone. I'm going to throttle up, go in the friction zone. I have my left foot on the ground, my right foot on the rear brake for control. One of the problems with this is people always over throttle and then they shoot way out 12 feet. 12 feet is a long way. So I'm throttling. About to go in the friction zone. I'm already looking where I want to go. I check to my left. My left is clear. I'm looking to the right, looking where I want to go, throttling up. Foot is on the rear brake. Lift my foot. The minute it lifts, I release the throttle, go into the friction zone. Lift the left foot, turn. And then obviously, once I get here, I will throttle through just like if I was on riding on the street. So I'm going to do it one last time with all these people coming, <laughs> staring at me, wondering what I'm doing. Now, that was just facing the forward position. Now, if you want to do it, make it easier for yourself, less lean, I mean, less turning on the handlebar. You can look a little further down. I'm going to show you something. Right here, go on an angle. Once you get on this angle, let me see how my bike is on an angle. Let me go and show you. Here's roll position. If you look at this line, you see how my bike on an angle? Actually, I could get a little bit more over here, but I guess you guys know exactly what I'm talking about. That way, when I'm turning, I'm looking down early. I don't have to worry about coming all the way out here. I can make that, and once I face the direction of travel, throttle through. Everything remains the same. Friction zone, throttle, foot up immediately, right foot on the rear brake for control, for more control. You can go slow, lift it up, look, right here. And then, of course, you would throttle through once you face the direction of travel. I'm going to show you that one one more time, except this time I'm getting closer to the cone. I could come right here. I could start my turning right here. I'm at a stop. I wait for traffic to come, start my turn, and I'm set. Now, this last one, I mean, I'm going to show you. The, now, this last one, I'm going to show you from the white line, which only have three feet to maneuver. Now, three feet, I might can make it into nine feet, but just to show you how you have total control, how everything works out. I'm on the line. I need to turn, not go over to nine feet, and not touch that cone. There we go. This last bonus is going left. Left is no different than right, except left is not really much of a problem because you have a lot of space, depending on the type of road you're on, to make the corrections. So if I'm going to the left, it's just simple, same thing, look where I want to go, turn in, throttle through. I love doing this, I'm gonna do it one more time. <laughs> From a rolling position. Going right, don't over throttle, use your brake. Proper braking, brake, look where you're going, and throttle through. Now, obviously on the street, 
You don't want to take that long of a pause to throttle through. I'm just pausing so you can actually see what I'm talking about. Gear up, going in gear. So I'm going to do it. Pretend the cones aren't there. Do it as if I'm riding on the street. And with the minute I face that direction, I'm going to throttle through just in case any cars coming up from my left. So coming up, all clear. Throttle through. Okay, let's go over what we covered. Not too much throttle. Remain in a friction zone. Your entry speed into your turn is very, very important. Always look where you want to go. 100% of the time. You practice this. You don't need cones. Nine, going into nine feet. Six feet, going into nine feet. Whatever you choose. Do not practice it with 12 feet because... 12 feet, you want to use that much room. And out on the street, you don't want to use that because you don't want to get hit by cars coming in your direction. Well, that's all I have for now. So if y'all riding, remember, ride long, ride hard, ride strong, but most importantly, ride safe. From Boosting Jeans Riders, I'm Rich, and I'm out. Peace. Go do this. Save your own life.